uh, I'd like to introduce everybody in the forum to uh, Manolo Spobachikos, um, who I've never met, a uh, friend, like so many friends that you meet online. He is a, a graphic artist and animator, uh, connected with him because of a, a personal passion uh, that goes all the way back to, I guess, seeing Fantasia and the Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairies when I was a kid. But for those of us who present, or for those who do present, um, videos, animations are very much in the forefront. This is how you embellish the presentation, you add movement, the, the video is worth a thousand pictures, but the animations are also fantastic in terms of explaining techniques because you can spin things around, turn things on their head. So I asked if you would do this, if you would come on and show people not only how you do it just to see how it's done, but to see the complexity and the detail that goes into doing this. Because in the world of virtual and augmented reality, where we may very well be wearing an Oculus when we're actually doing procedures these days, you're reading textbooks with your iPhone and the image pops up because of augmented reality or however it's going to happen. But texts are going to change. How we read them, the manner in which we can see things that are embedded in the text. That's the world that we are in right now. So Manolis, if you would take us for a walk through your 3D world, please. Sure. Thank you so much, Ken. Thank you for the invitation. Um, can I share my screen so I can explain? You can all the share anything, my friend. Yeah. So I will explain the process behind. Uh, I started my career working for, for Warner Brothers and uh, production companies. Uh, I grew up with uh, gaming and movies, as always, as most of the people. And uh, I decided then, as soon as I was working for, for, for the LEGO games, for Time Warner, I decided to combine my visual effects uh, and 3D imagination uh, to, with the medical field. So now I'm here, uh, I have my own company, and here you can see all the pipeline whenever we're working for, for a doctor, for a training center, or for an implant manufacturer. You can see the quality. We're starting with building your own custom scenario. So you're coming to us. We are building your scenario together. We are giving your references and everything. And then we are having a structured idea of what you want to do. And then we are creating everything from scratch, everything from zero. Here you can see all the production we are doing for different particles, different simulations, everything, lots of work, lots of hours, lots of months to produce all this stuff. And then the magic is behind the photorealism, when we have everything realistic, semi-realistic. I mean, something that is so, so fascinating, something that it doesn't include the blood inside. So people, they can see it. education for patients. So we are making people happy. And all the magic is the secret sauce behind, which is our people. So this is my team, Vaso, Costas, Petros, George, and me. So all these people, they're working together. They are very, very specialized in the medical field. And now the last years we're in the, in the data field with uh, building all the competitors at the moment with all our crazy uh, resolution. So we are here to create everything from scratch and make your imagination reality. That's pretty awesome. So the point of bringing you on was the opportunity to do this. Uh, is fascinating. The work is amazing. You've spoken to a number of people. I'm just curious, um, as a courtesy to a friend, if I wanted to do this, how do I do this? How do I engage with you to do this work, to create this awesome work, these efforts that literally look cinematic? So uh, you're coming uh, with uh, your, your, your the, the surgery or the technique that you want to, to, to simulate. Uh, you are giving me some pictures and some videos, and then you're explaining me the steps of the scenario that you want to show of, uh, in the video. And then I'm starting my own research for three or four days or five days, according to the complexity of the module. I'm building a very solid and structured scenario so I can understand exactly how this is working. I need to understand the partner. I need to understand the client exactly what he needs. And then I'm coming back to the storyboard. So I'm creating then the tools, I'm creating the animations, I'm creating everything. And as soon as you are happy, and as soon as you are looking the video with the, a drafts in between our collaboration, if you are happy with this, or you need any changes, of course we are doing everything. 
And then we are fixing all the photorealism. So we're putting realistic lights, realistic materials. We have a custom, very big library in the dental field. And then we are fixing together. We are doing a very, very professional post-production and a big rendering. We have huge machines. And then the result is amazing. Yeah. Um, the, the, big, the, biggest, the biggest secret sauce, was how I'm saying that, it's um, that uh, you need to understand the partner. You need to have patience when he's creating this, because this is something that most of the people, they don't know how the animation is working, how the pipeline is working. So you need to understand, you need to have patience, and you need also to put your very, very high skills inside, which is your imagination and your creativity and your productivity in the final result. Always the biggest painters, they have amazing results because they are doing their passion. And as soon as they became famous, they became after their death because they, they, they didn't working on this, but they doing their passion. Mm -hmm. So it's the same for me. Yeah, I saw, I posted your, uh, the, I'm not sure what it was that you did at the DDS in Como. You shared the PDF with me. What was that? The one that you yeah, shared? We, exactly, yeah, I can share the post here. Uh, yeah, if you would. Of course, of course, this is uh, the poster. Uh, this is a virtual reality simulation with streamlines medical training for dental healthcare professionals in oral and maxillofacial radiology. Right. So here with uh, Dr. Kliantis, Dr. Papayanakis, who is also a professor in computer science, and he's doing a lot of uh, virtual reality. And Christian Gelopoulos, who is also the scientific director of this module, along with me, who is a product manager and a global trainer for dental virtual reality modules. We build it. This uh, radiology, uh, dental uh, radiology virtual reality module, and we are training people pretty much all over the way, all, all over the globe, uh, in the dental uh, radiology. So we have steps inside, we have uh, KPIs with true, false, data analytics, tracking analytics, and all this virtual reality technology helps you to understand the philosophy of all the steps of how to do something, how to understand the mistakes how you can solve the problems. And this gives you a high cognitive learning training of more than 70% to uh, remember, remember the steps, remember the storyline in any emergency case, whenever you are. So this is amazing. So it's a virtual reality simulation. It's intriguing. The, this is specifically radiology, but obviously are you working towards doing it in every facet? I mean, now that dentistry is digital, it would seem to me that to do this as a training, to do this in various modules would be very exacting and very helpful. You know, it's one thing to watch a lecture. It's quite another to watch a movie and get an overview sense of what's going on. Is that in the works? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So at the moment, we're not working only for, for, for the radiology. We have a lot of uh, projects in the pipeline. So for example, now we're working for, for implant surgery, it's a guided surgery. Uh, implant. So we're working with uh, uh, also other scientific uh, advisors who are producing uh, the storyboards and they are coming to us that they want this implant exactly different case studies. Uh, this is this is this is the future because at the moment the biggest problem also with the COVID and even for the future for any anything that can stop our training, it's that uh, we don't have the, the solution and we don't have the choice to to pretty much collect all these people and do the same training as we did it before the COVID. Mm -hmm. So the results, the negative results, all these results, they are coming back to the patient because uh, the new techniques in the dental field, the new tools, the new, the, the, the everything new from the professors, from the R&D systems for anything, they cannot, they cannot spread the world. So that's why we are here. We are creating these digital tools and in combination with the real time and the a biomatic experience. We are here to combine all this knowledge and gives great results. And I, I don't know if it's allowed. I mean, I assume some of these are copyrighted. Can you share some of that implant guided implant that you're doing? Or is that not allowed because it's- uh, uh, for, for the guide implant, <clears throat> let me see if I can search something. Um, you can see how ill-planned this was. This was just a couple of guys shooting the breeze on a Friday night. Yeah, for example, I will show you, I will show you for, for the radiology and then I will show you for the guided implant animation. 
okay. which is exactly the same. Okay. Uh, so for this one, for the radiology, for example, we have exactly here all the tools. We have the cabinets. We have um, um, so you see here we have the, the steps. So this is exactly their activity. We are doing the assembly of the tools of the brackets. We have here messages that shows what's exactly you're doing, where to put it. So everything is directed. And here we have data tracking analytics for your score, for your errors, for your action time. So which exactly is the step? Um, and everything is, is working with the same pipeline. So you're coming to me, you're saying, what's your story? What's your scenario? What's your problem? And then I'm fixing a complete professional storyboard for you. And we are building everything from scratch with uh, along with the code and the programming. Mm -hmm. And if you see here, we have uh, holograms. And you can touch through your Oculus Quest uh, globes. You can touch the, 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 the device. You can position it exactly to the correct position straight away to the bracket. So you have to be sure that it's exactly correctly aligned. And you have cognitive learning messages. Yep. And here it's all the tools we have ready for every every virtual reality project or for anything. Everything it's 3D, very specialized way to create everything very uh, soft and very light for the um, flexibility of the of the application. Uh, I stop this, for is one this is a screen capture, right? So it's losing some of the look. Like that's that's off the computer monitor. So the clarity of the actual image isn't as true as it is. Correct. Okay. This, this image is not. This is this is not like being played. It's just a screen grab, right? That's that's what I'm talking. This is gorgeous. Yeah. This is this is a, this is a three D three D image. I created everything on models. So all these models, all these models, it's one by one created by us. Uh, it's exactly. If you see here, I have uh, I have different pictures. All this is R3D. Mm -hmm. All these are 3D. So they're not studio see. shots. They're you re yeah. So you can do anything you want with them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's everything 3D. Wow. So all these all these are objects. Objects. Uh, companies, uh, tool companies, manufacturer, implant companies can can work out on these things. Here you can see everything is 3D. All the metals. Wow. Yeah, for us, for us, it's it's a daily daily uh, procedure. I mean, see here the reflections, everything. Nothing, yeah. nothing is a video. Nothing is a photo. Everything is created from our softwares, with our imagination, and lots and lots of lots of hours. But yeah, we're very happy about the result. So everything comes back. I, I mean, you see it more and more. The companies are doing it. Uh, for the clients, um, because they obviously they have the revenue, but individuals are doing it. This is just going to be, especially like you said, in a COVID world, this has got to be a part of hybrid education. You know, it's it's all fine and dandy to watch somebody on 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 Zoom, but that's a very draining experience. If you can add this to it, look at this. Yeah. Whew. Yikes. And they're not photographs. That's what's mind blowing. You know, simple <laughs> sample. Well, wow. yeah. yeah, lots of lots of stuff, lots of stuff. You see here. Yeah, okay. So, so go back to that for a second. The one you just showed. That's out. Ooh, hello. Yeah, that. I mean, that's outrageous. It's a very impressive, my friend. You're exceptional at what you do. Your team is great. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Ken. Thank you. This is the Da Vinci robot. The the who? The Da Vinci robot? The Da Vinci robot, yeah. Okay. So this is the, the surgical robot. <clears throat> surgical robot. And yeah, lots of stuff, lots of stuff. I mean, uh, lots of stuff for, for pictures and images. So this is our daily stuff we're exchanging with the team. And here is also the video I have on my YouTube with the tools. Mm -hmm. So here, if you see here the engravements, like you know, of the companies who are working together, all these metals, all these reflections, all this everything, it's a piece of art. So we need it is. especially imagine that only this object 
can spend someone a lot of hours to work on this and make it so realistic because it's not realistic, but it's making in our computers. And imagine that in a video that we're working, we have pretty much more than 20, 30 of these objects along with the, with the model, along with the, the procedure, the animation, and all this stuff together. So every video we're creating, for me, it's like a jewelry. It's yeah. not not something like a common video. So that's why I think this is a future. For me, I'm looking at my company that this is a future. This explains to the people that uh, this is a procedure. You don't have to understand more, but this is enough. I mean, the three minutes of this video, that's, that's more than enough. You have to understand the procedure. You have to understand which operation I will follow. As wait, wait, I'm sorry, that's drawn? What you just, go back? What you just showed is drawn, right? That whole assemblage with the motor? That's drawn. Yeah. Wow. Yes, that's uh, 3D. And uh, if this is this is also in my YouTube channel, the full video. This is a guided implant surgery. This is the one we are creating now in the virtual reality. Also, here, this is the this is the process. <laughs> All these tools, the Cortellini. <laughs> One of my favorite, and yeah. So, the, the, well, I don't know what to say. I mean, it's almost like being a kid watching this put together. It's exceptional. I, listen, I want to thank you for doing this. I've been bugging you to do this for a while, uh, arm twisting you actually, because I know the kind of time and energy that's involved. But like you said, you know, it, what's his name? Uh, that 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 heinous human being, Mark Zuckerberg, moved into the metaverse. So he's, they've already taken what is one of the most prolific social media platforms in the world with the greatest database in human history. And he's already talking about living in the metaverse, right? Well, dentistry is not long for having to do the same thing. It's like anything else. Society changes, culture changes, technology changes, and then dentistry has to follow suit. Well, the metaverse, there'll be a dentiverse, yeah. and that's next. So listen, again, thank you for doing this. I appreciate you taking the time. Um, I encourage anybody who has the opportunity to go to your website. What, what's your, sorry, what's your Facebook page? What's it called? It's 3D Medical Animation, is that correct? On Facebook? 3 Med World. 3 Med yeah. World, sorry. 3 Med, Med World on Facebook. Well, it was uh, late for you, I take it. You've been at it all day. Thank you for putting that together. I know how much time it took to render. Uh, I hope everybody gets at least a strong sense of the complexity of this and most importantly, the value. So Manolis, until we can meet at a taverna somewhere and have some Uzo and some Ratsina and uh, we'll invite Fafi yeah. to come on down. It'll happen, it'll happen. I look forward to seeing you again and take care of yourself, okay?